Hello grade 8, I am Ms. Lara El Qaisi and I will be teaching you science this course. Welcome back, I hope you are all refreshed and energized for another good academic year. First of all, uh, this is your course book for this year and uh, you will be assessed according to criterion A, B, C, and D. This course contains three science subsections. First, physical science. Second, life sciences. Third, earth sciences. For the physical sciences, we will be talking about atoms and the periodic table, chemical reactions, forces in motion. As for life sciences, genes and heredity, natural selection, and change over time. And lastly, earth science, we will be talking about solar system and the universe. Starting off with physical science, it is about exploring the elements of the periodic table that will help us make connections about the important properties of elements and how elements form and bond. We will be discussing the development of the atomic theory and the different models of the evolvement of the atom, such as Thomson's model, Bohr's model, and Cloud model, until we reach the modern model of the atom. And we will discuss the main components of the atom, such as proton, neutrons, electrons, and the nucleus, and how to interpret the elements on the periodic table, the types of bonding that these elements can form, the characteristics of each element in different groups. Moving on, we will be determining the physical and chemical change in matter and how these changes the properties of the substances uh, we will know how to model chemical reactions in equations. We will also get introduced to the following terminology, speed, velocity, acceleration, friction, gravity, and forces, and how to calculate them mathematically. And we will get introduced to Newton's first, second, and third laws, and what factors affect each and every law. We will also get to understand friction and the factors that affect it and how gravitational interactions are formed. Moving on with life sciences, we will explore the patterns of reproduction, inheritance, and how offspring receive traits from parents and understand DNA replication. Also in life science, we will explore how organisms change over time and learn about the scientific theory of evolution by exploring how Gregor Mendel contributed in the field of genetic to help us understand how traits are shared between parents and the probability of inheriting a specific gene. We will also explore the meaning of genes and chromosomes and how they contribute to inheritance. Also, we will understand the process of cell division through the meiosis and mitosis cycle. We will understand DNA replication how and why are proteins synthesized in our body? We will go over the early stages of evolution and how organisms change over time and the process of evolving through natural selection and how natural selection has a role in gene mutation and environmental change. And lastly, we will find evidence of the scientific theory of evolution through fossils.
last subsection in this course is Earth's science. It talks about exploring and understanding how planetary systems help and support life and examine evidence that support scientists' understanding of the universe by exploring the objects in the solar system based on characteristics such as color, size, and motion. We will be able to describe the role of gravity in motion of planets and other solar system objects. And we will understand the relationship between all the objects of the solar system. Moving on up to learn about the universe from characteristics of electromagnetic spectrum to assessing outer space and their relationship. Lastly, we will talk about the stars and their physical properties, how stars are classified, and how gravity plays a role in the formation of stars. This was a wrap up of our course, how it will go throughout this year. Good luck in your science course and best wishes for the beginning of a new academic year.